Some things in life are very predictable, like the sun rising every day, or the tides changing, or even 90% of the people that are watching this right now not being subscribed. But something even more predictable than all those three things that I just mentioned is that whenever there's a good Roblox update that hits the site, there's always a bad one to follow it. And that is no more evident than the update that just hit Roblox today. Public UGC has just rolled out to the public, and oh my goodness, it's a dumpster fire. Like, we're already seeing horrible hats getting uploaded to the site like we see this this and this it, it is so bad guys and i told you guys they would do this ruben sim put on twitter he said i told you guys they would do this and guys i literally did a roblox commentary video saying to go back to that video when public ugc released because it would be bad yeah i was right but uh, i wasn't really assuming how bad it would actually be this is easily one of the worst updates that had ever hit roblox and you think moderation would be the worst thing about this update and it literally isn't it's so crazy it is it has so many levels to it. We're gonna talk about everything in just one second, but before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed as we're trying to hit 20k. We're getting really close. If you wanna be up to date on all the latest things going on the Roblox community, make sure you subscribe. But anyways, let's get straight into this. So out of the blue, Roblox decided to open up UGC to the public. They gave no warning to any developers and they told developers nothing about what they were gonna be changing about UGC when this went public. And they changed a lot about the UGC program. And all I gotta think is like, like, if this was my livelihood, I, I would be scared for my life because one day you could go to sleep and be like everything is fine and then the next day you realize you're pretty much out of a job. Since Roblox is now on the stock market, almost all of their updates are influenced by investors. Like for instance, we saw voice calls added to Roblox, seemingly one of the most useless updates that have probably been used collectively by 10 people. Or this update where you can go ahead and smile in Roblox by giving Roblox access to your webcam. To the seemingly average Roblox player, their view on these updates could range from being stupid all the way up to being dangerous, like for instance the call feature when Roblox has a pretty massive predator problem right now. But seemingly to the average investor of the Roblox Corporation, they view this as Web3 Metaverse technology. This here is Hyper NFT Cryptocurrency OpenSea technology, and this will go ahead and enable Roblox players to access the Web3 Metaverse. Okay, so pretty much what I'm saying is that Roblox investors don't even know what's being added to Roblox. They don't know that players aren't going to use these features. They're just being pitched slop, just like how a lot of Wall Street is. Okay, if you don't believe me, take it from an official Roblox investor who makes probably some of the most outlandish tweets on Twitter. At Wolfpack Games or Brookhaven, how much would you charge per month to lease these shops to say Starbucks or 1-800-Flowers? Why 1-800-Flowers? To get in front of your 60 million daily visitors to enable IRL ordering from the shops. Oh, yeah. Yes, I would love to order 1-800 flowers within Brookhaven. <laughs> You will see full-blown weddings occur on Roblox, and the dress will be a limited edition Gucci that costs thousands, while the overall wedding will be a fraction of the IRL version. Uh, guys, it's official. I'm getting married on Roblox. I, I just, I love Roblox. The reason why I bring this up is because that people like this, people that give such stupid takes like this, are actually able to influence and change the direction that Roblox is going in. That's why you see updates like this hit Roblox. Zero Roblox players ever asked for this functionality but just randomly out of the blue they decided to add this update why maybe because you could pitch this to investors and call this groundbreaking technology when all it is is very basic face tracking that they actually accomplished all the way back in 2014 with all that being said i think this pretty much showcases how one of the worst roblox updates just came out that literally nobody on the platform wants at all just to give you a perspective on how bad this update actually was on release Within hours of this coming out, people were uploading private parts and stuff on people's chests, and they were just re-uploading one-to-one -one copies of very popular limiteds. Ask any single Roblox player, they didn't want this update to go public. There's a very valid reason as to why, because Roblox already doesn't moderate UGC as is. They gave up on moderating limiteds, and now they are giving up on moderating inappropriate assets, and then they're gonna make it public? That's such a horrible idea. There's actually just been 
so many issues sparked for this going public that I want to break them down section by section. So let's go take a look at a friend of the channel, Roblox RTC, to see what they have to say about this. Public UGC is now official. As Roblox is moving away from an application-based process, creators still do have to meet the certain requirements to be allowed to publish and sell UGC items. Now, the requirements are you have to have an ID verification, which is very easy to do. You can literally just upload a fake ID to Roblox. Not even a fake, you could upload the SpongeBob driver's license. It will get you verified. It is horrible. You do have to have premium, which uh, millions of people have, and follow the rules. That, that, that's it. So yeah, practically no requirements for UGC. Like you can just go ahead and get your way into it as long as you got a premium Roblox account. Roblox seems to also be moving the price of UGC limiteds to 100 Robux per unit. For example, an item that would previously cost 75,000 Robux to create would now cost upwards of 500,000 Robux, which is a 600% increase. Creators are worried that UGC may not be profitable anymore. I know I joked around at the start saying that people's livelihoods are just going to get completely destroyed by this, but that is quite literally what is happening here. People make UGC as a livelihood, and could you imagine just going to sleep and waking up to figure out that uh, it's going to be 600% harder to make your work? Roblox just killed UGC limiteds and free UGCs in a quick and easy swoop. It is gone. There is nobody who's going to be doing this for profit anymore. It just might be a few rich Roblox developers doing for the meme like chasm it's crazy we are literally only on the second tweet in this thread like we haven't even made it into the bread and butter of it the next thing the roblox rtc mentions is this new dmca thing that they made for ugc creators which came out a little bit ago and honestly i feel like this was foreshadowing it's like when you go back and watch a show you've already watched that has like a major spoiler in it and you just see the character plotting out before the spoiler it's like oh this is all adding up that's the same thing that's going on here because shark Roblox, only a few hours after this update came out, had his hat completely ripped one-to-one, -one, uh, with the only difference being the texture. Mind you, it was already a pretty bad issue when UGC was private and application only, but with it being public, it is gonna be a way bigger issue. Now, the next Roblox RTC post on this thread pretty much states that Roblox will be actively moderating Roblox hats to make sure that they are categorized correctly, so that you can't go ahead and label a hat that's for a, being a hat for like a shoulder or something and then price it lower. Like I believe that there's a different price floor for hats versus necklaces or shoulders. They all have a unique price floor so you can't make it below a certain amount. Roblox is going to be making sure that these are all actively moderated which uh, I highly doubt because the thing is Roblox isn't moderating this to begin with. Like let's just flash back a year ago in time when Roblox did attempt to moderate the program. If you uploaded a Dominus to the site you would get removed from the program. Heck even people got banned off of Roblox for going ahead and making limited copy. But Roblox showed that they couldn't moderate this program. They just gave up on moderating it. You could just upload Dominus to Roblox. They don't care. As long as it's not a one-to-one, -one, they don't care. But there are literal one-to-one -one copies, literally the same texture and hat just being uploaded onto Roblox. And that leads me to my final thing being the current moderation of it. It is so bad right now. Uh, look at this hat. This is on Roblox. You could buy this. Uh, this got approved for UGC. This looks horrible. What am I looking at here? I've literally made multiple videos on this channel talking about horrible UGCs that were added to the site before UGC actually went public. And now it's public and it is even worse because people really have nothing to lose. All you need is a Roblox account that has a premium and boom, you're into the program. You do have to spend 2,000 Robux to upload each and every item, but for some people that is expendable. They can find that. And they are because uh, like I showed, they're already uploading some pretty bad thanks to the site heck this literally has a slur in it how how is this on Roblox? well like I, I it's mind-blowing bro almost all roblox players could see this as an absolutely horrible update but if you go over to people like for instance the guy who thinks that people should be able to order 1-800 flowers within brookhaven he has to say roblox is scaling creation uh no they're not they, they actually just ruin people's livelihoods with this awful awful update uh this to me just highlights how out of touch investors are with roblox and their community and their player base nobody wants this who wants this? All I gotta say is that there is a new era of Roblox upon us. It is going to be completely different. Like, players are gonna look different. Their catalog is gonna be different. Things are gonna change. 
and uh, this is only the first day and I expect this to get much much worse. So consider subscribing so you're up to date on the latest news relating to this and also follow me on Twitter at RealSchlepp. But that's pretty much been everything in today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.